Today we're going to be showing you how to install Boost Auto Parts tow mirrors onto your 2019 or newer Ram 1500 truck. For exact fitment, check our website at BoostAutoParts.com. To get all the parts and accessories shown in this video, as well as other parts and accessories for your truck or SUV, check us out at BoostAutoParts.com. Begin by removing this trim piece with a 90 degree pick, and then come through and remove the two 10 millimeter bolts. Remove the trim behind the door handle with a pick as well as a body trim tool. Remove the 10mm bolt behind the door handle. Using a plastic trim tool, start at the rear and remove the window switch. Remove any connectors on the back side. Using a trim tool, work your way around the door releasing the body trim clips. It's easiest to start in the front. When you get towards the top, make sure the lock lever clears before pulling away from the door to release the remainder of the trim clips. To release the door cable, there's going to be two little notches right here. We're going to take some needle nose pliers. You're going to depress those two notches and pull the door cable back straight like that. That's going to release it from this plastic retainer. Then you're going to slide it all the way forward and then pull the cable straight up and on. That will release the door panel and you can just take the door panel off and set it to the side. Now we need to remove this trim piece straight over here. To do that there's going to be a clip here, 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 and here. We're going to use our plastic trim tool and just release them. Once those trim clips have been released, this just sits in the channel, so you're just going to carefully pull it out of the channel, and set it off to the side. Now we need to remove the mirror from the door module. If you follow the mirror harness right down, it's going to come right down over to here. The mirror connectors are black and white. There's a little tab on it, and to press those and release the connectors. Now you need to release the factory clips that retain the harness using a trim tool. There are five of them. You can see there are two 10 millimeter nuts as well as two 10 millimeter bolts holding the mirror on. Carefully remove those bolts while someone else holds the mirror on the other side for stability. Once those bolts and nuts have been removed, there's likely a trim clip right about here holding it on. So using our trim tool, we're just going to go in, pry out, that'll release the trim clip, and then we'll carefully remove the mirror, guiding the harness straight out. Now we'll take our new towing mirrors provided by Boost Auto Parts and mount them onto the vehicle. The Boost Auto Parts mirrors do not have a retaining clip to hold them up during install, so it's important that you have someone hold the mirror. Once the mirror has been mounted up, make sure no wires are pinched between the body of the mirror and the truck. Reinstall the two 10 millimeter mounting nuts, as well as the two 10 millimeter mounting bolts. Route the wiring harness down along the door panel towards the door module. It is important to note that you will have a varying amount of connectors and wires from side to side, so you may not have all these connectors. In this case, we're working on the driver's side, and we have a pretty loaded out mirror. We're going to go ahead and plug the black connector into the door module, as well as the white connector, if equipped. If you bought signal-only mirrors, disregard this portion of the video showing the running light wire. You can simply reinstall the door panel. If your mirrors are equipped with signal and running light or switchback, you have a secondary wiring harness for the running light. That wire will be orange or blue. Plug in that secondary wiring harness to the extension. And pull this little rubber grommet out from the door. Take a pick and you're going to come right in this hole right over here. You want to be right up near the entrance and you're just going to carefully poke through the rubber boot. Take your running light wire and you want to guide it through that hole that you just poked with your pick. You want to leave just enough slack so that this connector can go around the speaker and follow the factory wiring. Remove the grommet in the inner part of the door jam. It's just a press fit design. Then take your wire and pass it towards that area. Pull the slack straight on through, being careful not to chafe any of the wire. Reinstall the door grommet. Using your hand, remove the rubber off the plastic connector body and the door jam connector. To remove this connector from the body of the truck, there's a clip, one clip on the top and two on the bottom. Take a pick and to press the clip straight at the top, it's right in the middle. There are two tabs at the bottom of the connector that need to be released. Use your left hand to release one and then the pick for the other and the connector will pull from the body of the truck. Just to show you, the two clips at the bottom are right here and here. 
That is what we were depressing at the bottom. And then the clip at the top is this one right here. So you depress all three of those and the connector will be removed from the body of the truck. Locate a thin, firm piece of metal and run it through the door boot. In this case, we're using a straightened out coat hanger. Tape the end of your running light wire through it and then pull it straight on through, fishing the wire through the door boot. Locate the hollow area between the two connectors on the door boot and pass your orange wire through being careful not to chafe it. Utilizing a trim removal tool, we're going to remove this piece right over here. Guide your running light wire in through the hole into the cab of the truck. On the passenger side, it will be nice and open and easy to get to. You'll be able to see the orange wire right away. On the driver's side at the surface, it looks like you will not be able to access it, but there's actually a hole right over here. So you can just reach your hand in and then you'll be able to feel the orange wire. You can just pull your slack straight on in. Take this rubber boot and put it back around the body of the connector. Install the door side rubber boot. It's important to note that this vertical tab needs to face up. So you'll just push that down into the door jam and work with the grommet straight in. Reinstall the cab side connector. Just line it straight up. You want to make sure that it snaps fully into the door. Perform the same procedure on the passenger side. Now for the passenger side, you can see we have the running light down here on the passenger side. We've removed this one clip that holds this piece down. You can see we've just kind of ran our wire right along here. Now we have the wire right over here. Now what we've done is we've taken our coat hanger and we've ran it over to the driver's side from the passenger side. You can see we have our wire taped to our little coat hanger ran across. We're going to carefully pull it over towards the driver's side. We'll just keep pulling it through from the driver's side. And we'll pull the slack from the passenger side over to the driver and we'll reinstall those clips on the passenger side. It is important to note that there are some mechanisms for the blower motor in here. You need to make sure this wire is clear of those white gears over there. Remove these two 7mm bolts on the driver's side. Remove this panel. It's just going to come down slightly. It's not going to be fully removed. There's just some trim clips holding it on. Remove this 15 amp fuse right down here. This is fuse 49 for your reference. Take the original fuse that you removed from the truck and place it into the lower slot on the fuse tab. Make sure that the fuse slides all the way forward. Guide the running light wire from the driver's side as well as the passenger side straight up to this area. Make sure that they're clear of any pedals or any obstructions. Then take the wires, get them right near the location that we're going to be going, cut them both. Strip the ends of both the running light wires for the driver's side and the passenger side. Twist the driver and passenger side wires together. Place the two wires that are twisted together into the butt connector on the fuse tap and crimp them down. Take your fuse tap and plug it back into the original fuse location and guide your wires up out of the way and tie them up with a zip tie. Guide any wires right over here up so that when you reinstall this they clear and place it back into position and snap back in the trim clips. Reinstall the two 7mm bolts. Make sure your running light tap wire is out of the way. Then reinstall this trim piece right down here. You have your two clips here and then your clips over here. Begin reinstalling the door panel by putting this trim piece in. It does clip into this lip all the way around. It's easiest to start at the front, flip the front around, and then work your way straight up, putting it into place. Make sure all your wires are clear of any door panel clips. Then lift your door panel into place you want to make sure that your window switch and any connectors that need to be plugged back in are guided through their hole, respective holes in the door panel. Reconnect your door cable. Start by connecting the cable down to the assembly right here. Then pull it back and slide it, and this should slide all the way forward. Lift the door panel straight up and guide the lock lever straight through the hole in the door panel. Line up all the push pin clips on the door panel, then begin snapping them into place. 
plug the door switch back in. Reinstall the window switch. To do that, you want to latch it at the front first, then slide down at the rear. Reinstall the one 10 millimeter bolt here and the two down here. Snap the two plastic trim covers back into position. If your original mirrors do not have the turn signal or the puddle light, you will need to have the sales codes LEB and LEC enabled so the turn signal and puddle light operate properly. If your original mirrors had these, no reflash or sales codes need to be enabled. And just like that, your installation is complete. If you purchase running light mirrors, the running lights will be on any time the ignition is on due to the design of the truck on 2019 Ram 1500s. If you purchase the power folding option, that will be power fold with the factory switch. If you did not originally have power fold, please reference a separate Boost Auto Parts video. To get all the parts and accessories shown in this video, as well as other parts and accessories for your truck or SUV, check out our website at BoostAutoParts.com.